we have arrived to our journey today. Welcome to Epcot. What is up everybody, it's Joshua and I'm back with another video and today we're here at Epcot. We're here to check out Taste of Flower and Garden. It's Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival 2021. Now I haven't been to Epcot in such a long time that I'm happy to be back and everything's a little different around here since I've been here last. The music has changed at the front of the park. There's some new decorations around. There's some flags up. There's some new topiaries. I'm just excited to walk around Epcot. I'm excited to try some really good food because I hear Flower Garden is a lot of people's favorite festival. So I want to find out for myself if all the food's as good as everybody says it is. And I mean, we're at Epcot. <laughs> you guys are ready to go on this tasteful, flowery journey with me. Well, let's go. So the theme for the front for Flower and Garden this year seems to be Fantasmic with Sorcerer Mickey. And I love it, it's so pretty. Like, I really, really love it. I love how like this piece here is like that little paper piece that goes into the plant pot when you buy it. I love it. So before heading into any festival here at Epcot, make sure you pick up your festival passport. It's going to tell you everything you need to know about the festival, where the food's going to be located, and all kinds of family fun stuff that you're able to do at the festival. And I'll give you a little sneak peek inside this passport in just a second. And when you first open the book, you can write your name in it so you know which ones is which. Because I think you can also do a little scavenger hunt inside this passport. So for example, it gives you different types of merchandise that's being sold at this specific festival. So another thing to check out is the entertainment. And they give you all the entertainment that's going on at Flower and Garden for 2021. The fun for all ages section scavenger hunts, discovery experiences, interactive gardens, man. And here are the different flags to represent the different lands around Epcot. You have Soren, you have living with the land, you have the test track area, and a few more that I really can't see. But these are cool. I really thought at first when the flags were going up that it was gonna be for each country that's in Epcot, but this is more simplistic and it's still really, really cool looking. So it really seems to be the start of spring break because as I'm walking in, Spaceship Earth is a 35 minute wait, but the line is crazy busy. But I mean, it does have a lot to do with social distancing. But that's just crazy. So I got my gift card. Now let's go get some food. So with all the good food that we're going to be trying today, I also want to go check out over in France the new like bathrooms and stuff like that. I know it sounds funny. I want to go check out some bathrooms. They might look cool. But I mean, everybody was checking them out. And I think today, since I'm here, I'm going to check them out. And with that being said, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is opening October 1st. 2021 and I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be here opening day But I'm still excited to hear that a new ride is finally opening because I've been waiting for Velocicoaster, Iron Velocity and all them to open and since Disney has something opening finally I'm just so so excited. This has definitely been a good week for announcements for theme parks and for us theme park vloggers. I mean Disneyland and Universal Hollywood have announced they can open up in April we got the announcement that Epic Universe is starting construction once again. And now we get an announcement that a ride is opening. Finally, some good news after such a bad year. This is definitely the prettiest festival. I am not going to lie. It is definitely a very pretty day out today. All these nice puffy clouds, no rain in the sky. I couldn't ask for a better day to come check out 
flower and garden. So our first stop of the day is going to be the Goodness Garden Butterfly House. Let's go. Wow, this is so pretty. Wow, look at this. So pretty. Look at the butterflies everywhere. Wow. This is a sweet potato plant. That's cool. I've never actually seen one in person. This is just a blanket of flowers. The butterflies are in their cocoons right now. Look at this beautiful white butterfly. Look at this beautiful orange butterfly. They're just going everywhere. I can't even catch them on camera quick enough. These one day will be beautiful, magnificent butterflies. But right now, they're just little cocoons. So you know how I said it was really pretty outside and there was no rain in the sky and the clouds were all white and pretty? Yeah, well Florida decided it was going to change its mind. We were going to get some rain clouds. Just look how pretty this looks. This is why I feel like everybody loves this festival so much. It isn't even of the food. It's really just the beauty around the whole entire park. Wow. I love these topiaries here. They're so cool. Everything's just so pretty. Reimagining the future with Harmonious. By day, a dazzling fountain with sparkle. At night, iconic Disney music and images. Man, I'm so excited for this. This is my first time actually seeing it in person. I saw a lot of pictures. I saw a lot of video from other YouTubers. But seeing it in person is so amazing. But my OCD is really killing me. And a lot of people said this. This middle piece is not a center with this building behind it. And it's really irritating me. But you know what? I'm just happy we're getting shows back because I've missed them for so, so long. Let's take a look at some of this year's festival merchandise inside of Festival Market. The Outpost. Orange Bird is back. Definitely better than ever. There is a lot of Orange Bird everything. And it's really cute stuff too. This cup though. This cup. So for $20, you can get this cup and it has little like beads at the top. That's cool. The Hello Sunshine keychains. Oh man, the ears. Don't let Riley see this video. She will want them. That jersey's cute. Another one of those rain jackets. I saw that at Disney Springs, but it was like a different style. It was the dogs. Oh, I didn't even see this. It's like a, it's an orange carton. An orange juice carton. $30. Oh, she might like these ears too. I might be buying some ears before I leave here today. This hat's pretty cute. I love all of this stuff. It's almost like planters for your plants, I would say. The boot, the watering can, and then different mugs. They have a lot of cool stuff, guys. And more stuff back here. Oh, it's a little, like, garden gnome type thing, but it's the bumblebee. So honestly, I'm skipping through, like, just all the countries for right now, and I wanna go straight to World Showplace, because I hear they have a watermelon salad and Riley always tells me about the watermelon salad so I gotta try it for myself so that's where we're headed skipped everything else I'm gonna come back to it I have till 8 o'clock so I'm not really in a rush and yeah super excited to try this watermelon salad okay so before I go into World Show Place we are trying Frushi because everybody has told me I needed to try Frushi when I come over here to Epcot so that's what we're doing all right I got my Frushi I'm excited, all right? 
Like, it looks good. It smells good and fruity. <clears throat> wow. That is so, so good. I am glad I tried this. Now I understand why everybody was like, Josh, when you come to Epcot, make sure you get the Frushi. So, so good. Man, let me tell you, everything about that Frushi was so good. Everything was fresh, juicy, tasted so, so good. I could get a whole nother one and be okay with it. So as we head into the World Showplace, we have a Walt Disney World horticulture truck right outside. That's really, really cool. We are inside of World Showplace, and it is so, so pretty. Sounds like some entertainment might be happening. So the first booth when you walk in is Festival Favorites. And this is a look at their menu. Then they have the Cider House. And this stuff looks really, really good. We might be getting a little bit of everything in here. They got some good alcohol too. And our last and final booth is Farmer's Feast. And they have some different type of food. Doesn't look like anything I'm super interested in. But it doesn't mean it's bad. You guys come and try it for yourself. So we're going to start at the Festival Favorites. And we are going to get this watermelon salad. Pickled onions, feta, and balsamic reduction. That looks so, so good. So I ended up getting a moonshine lemonade, frozen lemonade. And... I got the watermelon salad, and it looks so, so good. Let's dig in. So first, I'm gonna try the frozen lemonade because it's really kind of hot outside, and this is gonna be nice and refreshing, at least I hope. Ooh, that's so good. Ooh, yeah. That is alcoholic. And I wanna say one thing, though. So I got the alcoholic frozen lemonade. They have an alcoholic and non-alcoholic. I got the alcoholic and they did not card me. So, um, yeah, that might be a problem. You should always card somebody if they're buying alcohol. But other than that, this tastes really good. Everything in this salad is so, so fresh. And I actually just complained about this. How I don't ever seem to find anything fresh over here at Epcot because I was over at Universal and I said everything I had was fresh. But wow. So far, the main two dishes that I had were incredible and so, so fresh. This is definitely my favorite festival so far. And it's the only festival here at Epcot that I found something that I truly, truly like and it hasn't been super cold or anything like that. But obviously both dishes I had were supposed to be cold, but you understand what I'm saying. So I didn't really find a lot of stuff inside Showplace that I really wanted this time, other than those two things. So now we're gonna head back out and head to World Showcase and see what we can find out there. So I tried two sweet items. I think I'm ready to find a savory because I wanna see if I can try something that I like that's savory and also not cold because every time I got a hot dish here, it was cold or it was like lukewarm. I want it to be how it's supposed to actually be. So I'm over here at Trowel and Trellises and I'm going to grab the grilled street corn on the cob because you guys know I love corn and this better be good. I smell it and it smells so good. Let's try it. So I ended up getting the street corn. It doesn't look as appealing as I thought. Um, it seems to have a lot and a lot of like breadcrumb on it, but I'm not doubting it yet. Just saying it doesn't look as appealing as I expected. And I got this um, cranberry green iced tea. You could get an alcoholic, but I chose to not get alcoholic because I can't drink a lot because I'm by myself. So yeah, let's uh, try this first. 
Ooh, that's really good and refreshing. So you really taste the the cranberry over like the green tea, but that's okay because it's not super overpowering. And then you get a little hint of lime if you, as long as you squeeze the lime into it. That's really really good and refreshing. This is definitely something to get on a day like this where it's kind of hot and a little windy, but it's still good. It's good. All right, now it's time to try this corn. All right, let's go. Probably halfway yeah, no. Halfway to Italy. I um, I don't like it. First off, it's not cooked all the way, so the corn's still like super, super hard. Um, and whatever sauce is on this is so garlicky. It almost tastes like a like a Caesar dressing sauce, like how you can taste the anchovy. Yeah. Um, I don't like it, and I'm sad because I was liking everything so far, and. This is, I don't like it. You guys have disappointed me. You can't ruin corn, but Epcot, you uh, proved to me you, you can. Guess I gotta go to Animal Kingdom and get my street corn. Oh well. So this is something you can always get here, so I don't really gotta show you, but I got a milk tea from China, and it's so, so good. try one more savory thing because I want to say that I love the savory dishes at Epcot but I haven't been able to say that it's only been the sweet treats that I've liked so let's hope we can turn that around and at least like one savory dish here so we're over here in France and I decided well I gotta use the bathroom so let's go check out the France ratatouille bathrooms let's go Yep, they're bathrooms. I mean, they're nice bathrooms because they're new and not a lot of people have used them yet. But, I mean, just bathrooms. Nothing uh, very spectacular about a bathroom. <laughs> Look at this flower design over here across the water by Ratatouille. That's very, very pretty. Remy, you're about to have your own ride open up. How do you feel about it? Yeah. Nice, nice. I agree. I agree. Well, good luck with the new ride. Nice talking to you. So we're over here at the France Pavilion, and I think I'm going to get this. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, so we're going to go with braised duck, um, cafe a la orange with gnocchi. That's how we're going to go with it. That's how I'm going to say it. And I'm so sorry I can't pronounce it. But this is what it looks like. And it looks good and I hope it tastes good. So I was gonna get that braised duck from France, but I think I, the line was so long that I felt like I could have went somewhere else and not wasted so much time in line. So we're still gonna find that one savory dish to finish off the night. Let's do it. These topiaries are very, very pretty this year. I love it. And then there's a Kermit one over there, and it just looks phenomenal. 
So it looks like they're testing the arm for Harmonious. And it's, it's, man, it's going. That means it's getting closer to opening. I'm not sure if there's an opening date. I cannot remember, so do not quote me on whether there's an opening date or not. But it is being tested as we speak. So I'm over here at the Honey Bistro and I think I'm gonna try two different things, I think, I hope so. I'm gonna get the honey and sweet corn spoon bread and I'm also gonna get the lavender honey mustard marinated chicken flatbread. So for the kiddos, they do have a Spike the Bee Spork for only $2.50. So if you kinda wanna make their dish a little more special, get you the Spike the Bee Spork. So we did end up going with the spoon bread. And then we ended up getting that chicken flatbread and let me tell you this looks so so delicious and then i just got a water from starbucks because i was feeling a little dehydrated but let's eat all right so i'm going to try the flatbread first okay like so it, it has a lot of chicken on it i can't complain mm. wow mm -hmm. that is so so delicious. I am glad I found a savory dish that I liked before I left. Because to be honest, I was going to be a little disappointed. Man, that's good. <clears throat> mm. You hear that crunch? Amazing. Wow. Good job, Disney. Good job, Epcot. All right, so now I'm gonna try this spoon bread. And what it kind of reminds me of is cornbread, but with like fresh pieces of corn in it. It looks so good. Mmm. Yes. So, so good. The honey isn't too much. It doesn't overpower anything. And just, wow. Mm. So, so good. So now I'm just gonna take one big bite of everything because I can't really get the bacon to cut up. So, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, that is like breakfast and dinner all at once in my mouth. That is fantastic. I wish I had more bacon to fill this. Because, man. Wow. Good job, Epcot. You really impressed me today. I only had one thing that I did not like. Last time I was here, I had multiple things I did not like and only a little bit of things I actually liked so good job great great job well what a way to end the night here at Epcot's flower and garden festival that food was delicious and I'm glad I finally get to say that because the one and only time I did a food festival here was horrific for me like I didn't even want to post the video because I felt so bad but the food just was not good to me so I'm glad that I enjoyed almost everything here today there was only one thing I did not like I loved all the drinks I had just that corn I wish was cooked a little better and seasoned a little less and a little more on the corn not just on one side but other than that I cannot complain. All right, guys, that is going to do it from us here at Walt Disney World's Epcot. Had a really good day. Couldn't ask for a better way to spend my day off. Epcot, I hope to see you real, real soon.
So that is gonna do it from us here at Walt Disney World's Epcot. And let me tell you, I had one of the best times here today that I've ever had at Epcot. Like I said, I don't normally enjoy Epcot, especially right now with all the construction going on. There's not much that I prefer to do. And I can't ever seem to find any food that I love at the festivals. And today was that day for sure. I literally only had one thing that I disliked and that was the corn but I'm super picky about corn so maybe it was just me other people seem to really enjoy it who was sitting around me but I just personally did not now my favorite thing out of everything that I tried had to have been that watermelon salad oh man so refreshing so fresh oh man my mouth is just watering just just talking about it and then next in line would have had to been the Frushi. Oh, let me tell you. Frushi is my new favorite thing ever. All right. I never thought I would like anything besides like regular sushi, but Frushi, woo. All right. <laughs> Man, that, that stuff was fresh too. Man. And I was just complaining. No lie. I was just complaining on my last video, which if you guys haven't seen it, link in the description below. Mardi Gras Part 2 Universal. Uh, I was complaining how I never seem to get anything fresh over here at Epcot. It always seems dry or cold. But today changed that as well. So, with that being said, if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys are ready for some more food reviews, well, let me know in the comments below. Uh, well, that's going to do it. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that thumbs up button. And uh, like always, I'll see you on the next journey. Peace.